I just got a puller here and uh, just a wrench as you can see here's the yoke and this is a puller centered in the uh, pinion so we have to get a find a way to get this off of here after I've used my uh, my inch pound wrench here sorry for the shaky camera work to figure out the uh, the drag or preload on the pinion I got about uh, 20 inch pounds so that's that's in spec because uh, spec calls from 16 to 24 inch pounds of drag for your proper pinion preload so now of course we got to get the uh, get the yoke back off of here so we can set up uh, the gears with the pressed on bearing instead of the setup bearing so I just got this wrench in here just to stop this puller from from moving as you can see see how the pinion is turning so we do you put the wrench in here and you turn this guy here so let's try this because it's a really tight fit on these splines this is a Ford 8.8 I'm just setting up some gears, T55, with a Ford track lock. This is for Project LS, I don't know if you guys can see this, this Ford Thunderbird here, 1980. So I'm just setting up a Ford 8.8 .8 rear end, because that car came with a 7.5 rear end. Not an 8.8, .8, but it actually just bolts right in. So everything, it's a Fox body, so everything that fits on the Mustang fits on this thing. So it's going to be a Turbo LS build. <coughs> So anyways, this is uh, in case anybody wants to know how to take their take their yoke back off after they've set the preload on the uh, on the pinion. This is how you do it. And I just used the fasteners that came with the uh, with the yoke uh, girdle. It's coming off, see. So that's it. It's off. Without hammering or anything. Thanks for watching.